questions surround the death of a prominent Paradise Valley businessman. He was killed by a politician's daughter while crossing the street near his home. You know, it's received a lot of attention for both the actions of the police on scene and also Paradise Valley's vice mayor. Here's Jared Dillingham. This is his wife. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, move it. Let's move down here. You Paradise Valley? Yes, yeah, yeah. I am. Officers arrived to a chaotic scene in Paradise Valley. 77-year-old Howard Brown, hit by a car, was dying in the street. She hit him. He was crossing the street so far. Hopefully they get him to a hospital. We're trying to get him out as fast as we can. An officer's body camera shows him helping the victim's widow, Judy Brown, I got her. who ran from home to her husband's side. I kneeled down beside Howard. I said, Howard, you've been hit by a car. Howard Brown, once a NASA physicist in Houston, founded a security company in the Valley, which he ran for 40 years. He survived by Judy and their three daughters. He was an amazing human being. The Brown family's grief over Howard's death is mixed with confusion, frustration, and anger over the investigation into the crash. Devastated and disgusted. Killing somebody is one thing, when they get away with it, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Now, two years later, Judy vividly I just saw blood. remembers being at the scene. Okay, thank you. Do you have that girl's ID? I'll get everything. The driver, 20-year-old Paige Dembow, is only captured on the body camera for a moment. All I remember is the The man you see on the body camera is the driver's father, Paul Dembow, then the vice mayor of Paradise Valley, rushed to the scene and helps his daughter answer the officer's questions. It appears who's on this side of the road, but that's where you hit him. I don't know. Listen to what the officer tells a friend of the victim. The officer says the driver isn't on anything, but she was never given a breathalyzer. She never had her blood tested and she was allowed to leave this scene minutes later with her father. And it looks like it was inadequate. It looks like they, they didn't do a thorough investigation. Attorney Scott Halverson has handled deadly crash cases and we had him review Howard Brown's death. There's a lot of red flags. Should her father have been allowed to help answer the questions for her? Yeah, never. Other details came to light. Paige Dembow's car had an ignition interlock system. You have an interlock in your car and they don't even check you for anything? I demanded her blood be taken. I demanded it. I screamed it from the top of my, my voice and they all just acted like I was crazy. Court records show drug arrests and a failure to go through drug testing during probation. She was on probation when she hit Howard Brown. If those were drug charges, then, I mean, it's at least reasonable suspicion to further investigate. Could he have easily made a call to, to find out what the interlock was there for, or if she'd had any other past cases? Sure, police have ready access to uh, criminal histories of, of anyone. They can look that up on their computer. Remember, Paige Dembow was allowed to leave the crash scene with her father. Watch as an officer goes to question her later, and Vice Mayor Dembow answers the door. I just need to talk to the driver for briefly if I could. Paige left, I don't know where she is. I can try to get a hold of her, but Paige, yeah. was, Paige, Paige left. She okay. was very shaken up. Oh, I'm sure she was. The officer may seem understanding. The Brown family is not. The officer said, okay, we'll come by later. Uh, well, later happened and she's not home. She's not available. You know, you can't just go to dad's house and ollie ollie oxen free and no questions ever asked. In the videos, we never hear Paul Dembow tell the officers that he was the vice mayor. They knew who he was. He's the police officer's boss. They knew who he was. There's another strange twist in this tragedy. The Browns have what would be a nice golf course view, but their windows look directly at the Dembow home across the greens, a constant yeah, reminder of the crash. Yeah, they'll be right there, Dad. The sudden loss of their father and husband and the questionable Paradise Valley Police investigation. Not only are you grieving, but you're trying to fight for justice while you're grieving, and it's not easy. While no formal disciplinary action was taken against any of the officers, the police department admits there were some things we could have done better. Paradise Valley put their officers through training in crime scene management, accident investigation, and more. A judge threw out the Browns' negligence lawsuit against the police, but they still have a civil suit pending. We're not going to be quiet anymore. Unacceptable. I'm not shutting up and going away. 
The Paradise Valley police chief and the Dembow family decided not to talk to us on camera for this story. Paul Dembow is still on the city council. He emailed condolences to the Brown family, but said because they still have a civil case pending, he couldn't comment any further. Again, his daughter, the driver, never received a ticket. I'm Jared Dillingham, 3TV.